in light of the new recent set picture releases for Avengers Endgame, I just wanted to quickly share my thoughts and opinions, most of them being negative, on these sets. And since we haven't talked about Lego in a while, I thought that since this is a channel that I try to talk about Lego on, it would be a good platform to do that. So without further ado, I'm going to share my thoughts and opinions and then explain why I don't like the majority of these sets and why I'm kind of mad at Lego right now for these sets. Anyways, let's get right into it. So the first set we're going to take a look at is the Captain America Outrider Attack. And this set comes with four minifigures and will retail for likely $30. And I am not going to be picking this up, probably, unless I just need that Captain America. But really, it's not even that good. The back of it is so inaccurate, and the build for the set is just, excuse me, terrible. Do not like it. The minifigure count is high, but still $30 for a bad build, and... Three minifigures that are pretty much the same. I just can't wrap my head around it. So let's talk about the next set. So this set is the War Machine Buster, and it's not as bad as the Captain America set, mostly because the build is actually kind of fun, and it has a new Ant-Man helmet, which is really just the um, old Firefly helmet, but it actually works really well for Ant-Man. And you've probably heard that said by a lot of people by now, but... It just needs to be said. It's a very good helmet. It works really well for Ant-Man. But besides the new Ant-Man, the build, it's actually a, quite a good set. But I'm still not going to pick it up, mostly because I'm just not a big fan of the whole Hulk Buster and War Machine Buster sets. I personally think they're overdone at this point. But if you want to pick it up, that's completely fine. It's actually probably one of the more solid sets in this wave. But aside from that... Let's just jump into the next set. Alright, so the next set is the Iron Man Hall of Armor, and I really love this set. It's really great. It has quite a few minifigures, including four Iron Man armors, the Bone Suit, Mark V, Mark I, Mark 50, and the Igor Suit, which is a buildable fig, and it looks quite cool. We also have two Outriders, which is fine, and then it's got multiple builds. It all looks really awesome. Got some robots, some cool little turntables, I guess computer screens, and I guess the armory will be able to change its shape, I think, which is a really cool little feature of playability without being too outright crazy. And it's definitely the best set out of the whole wave, and I, and I along with most people, will definitely be picking this one up, unlike the majority of the sets, because every single thing about it is just pretty perfect, and I really love it a lot. I can't wait to have it, but let's just talk about the next set, which isn't as bad as the rest, but still isn't as good as this one. Now this set is definitely the strongest build out of all of the sets. It is probably the best Quinjet we've got since the um, first Avengers film, but the minifigures are lackluster. They're pretty much all the same, and I'll talk about that a lot more towards the end of this video. But the Shatauri are cool. I guess it goes into the whole theory about time travel with this movie. And the build's cool, but that's about it. But besides that, we're going to talk about the last and likely most disappointing set, because that one will take a lot longer. But anyways, that's it. Let's move on to the next set. All right, so this set is not good. This is the Avengers Compound Battle. It has eight minifigures and a bad play set build thing. This is the only set that has the new Iron Man in it, which is sad because that's a really good figure and a really bad set. It's got the same Thanos mold and gauntlet that we had last time. Still, no better. A probably inaccurate Hulk. The same Captain Marvel we got. Still, no leg printing. A pretty stupid build. It's just a compound. It's got some small little car and vehicle builds that honestly could have been better. And the set is so expensive that it's just just no way worth it. So don't pick this set up. It is bad. And I'm going to talk about all of these short changes right now. So I was scrolling through Instagram today and I found this post that was titled Attention Lego. Hashtag something for Marvel. I don't remember. But it makes such a valid point that... All of our Marvel Lego sets pretty much since the dawn of time have been pretty bad. They've all been 
not living up to their full potential, I guess you could say. Whether it's minifigures not having Lego boot printing like Captain Marvel, who should have had double molded legs. Or Ant-Man and the Wasp not getting new head molds for their completely unique head head gear things for Ant-Man and the Wasp sets, even though it was a bad movie. I will respect that. It's just... Star Wars gets new pieces for something like Solo, a movie that underperformed at the box office and just wasn't good. And in its second wave after the movie had come out, it gets more good pieces that are new. But for something like Avengers Endgame, they make literally every single key character have the exact same print. And it's just terrible. And it's not good at all. Now, some minifigures are an exception to this. Every single minifigure in the Iron Man armory attack thing are great. They're all unique, new, and amazing. I love that set. But then you look at something like the Avengers Compound Battle where you have the exact same Thanos mold that is still inaccurate. The exact same Captain Marvel figure that is still inaccurate. The same, they have a new Nebula figure, but it's the exact same body, Quantum Realm suit, that we've got on every single figure. We don't have a single one that's different, except for the Iron Man figure and Captain Marvel, which come in the most expensive set that is the worst set. And it's, it's not... It's a hundred dollars a euro, which means it'll likely be a hundred and twenty dollars USD. Likely. And why would anyone pay that for the that set? It has I think six hundred and something pieces, and it will likely be a hundred dollars or more. It's not worth it. Lego has continuously made terrible, terrible sets for these films. And if you're reading what I'm looking at right now, I hope you are reading it um, or read it. But um, just bad set, bad sets in general, bad minifigures, not a big fan of this wave and most of the Marvel sets that we've been getting for a while. But I'm not going to ramble and rant because you're probably going to hear it from every single Lego YouTuber this week and forever. But that's it for today. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, smash subscribe, smash like, all the things. I'll be back with Good Morning Pop Culture uh, next week. Make sure to watch the most recent episode. That way you can comment all your answers because I did ask some questions. And uh, if you were wondering my, why my voice sounds like this, it's because I'm sick. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm done. I'll see you guys in the next video, and as always, be positive.